So this is the selection process for selecting high frequency TIG with the new XTT 212DI. Go to the main main welding screen once it's switched on. Scroll to HF TIG. Select by pressing the right hand button there. Select DC or AC. Go for DC. Press and select. 2T, 4T or spot welding. We'll go for 4T for the torch trigger. No pulse or pulse, so we'll select and press. And then we're back to the main welding screen and we can select and make a change by the flashing red and green button on the main screen. Press, once you've made the, the change, move on to the next button, make a change, select, move on to the next one. That comes, that's now at the end of this cycle for welding. Thank you for watching. Now we'll have a look at lift TIG and how to set that up. On the main screen, we have TIG Synergic, HF TIG, and there's lift TIG. So select it in green, press, go to DC or AC, we'll go to DC, select the um, type of function control on the torch, 2T or 4T, we'll go for 2T, no pulse or pulse, so we'll go for no pulse. And there is the main welding screen where we can make our final adjustments to um, for, for the final welding. So whenever you see a flashing red and green icon, just make the change, press, move on to the next one, make a change, press and move on. And that's our main welding screen. We can change the upslope, pre-gas, post-gas, to your requirements. Thank you. So now we're going to have a look at high frequency aluminium TIG welding with pulse. Select high frequency, TIG, press and select, AC or DC, so because it's aluminium we're going to go with AC. 2T or 4T, we'll stick with 2T, selection. Pulse or no pulse, so we're going to go with pulse, so select over to pulse. And there we have our main welding screen now for selecting the pulse frequencies and the upslope, downslope and your main welding current. So when we're looking to the main screen, the easy way to change this is select what you want to change in the red. And you can see that as we move the control button around, wherever there's a red spot, press and hold. While it's flashing, you can make the change We'll put that to 0.5 half a second. Once you're happy with the change, press and move on to the next. Peak current, we can change the peak current. If you're happy with that, that's okay. Now the time on is 25 in percent. You can see the little percent sign there saying it's a percentage of the time on. So we can make a change on there. We can make that change. And then when we're happy, we can move on and so on. Make a change there. And that's the same throughout the main welding screen. And, and, and thank you for watching. Hi, so we're going to have a quick look at the uh, MMA setting on the new XTT 212 DI. So when you get to the main welding screen, select MMA on the front panel there, highlighted in green. Press the main control button, AC or DC current. We'll go for DC current, select it, press, and we have here our electrode amperage and voltage. So this is the main welding screen for your MMA. And as you see on the screen here, it's given us amperage of 130 amps at 45 point something volts flickering on and off. So when you look at the actual welding current, depending on the size of electrode, which is highlighted here, over to the left, we've got 2.5, 3.2 and a four millimeter electrode. Now, if we look at 2.5, we can look at the current, which is 75 amps. Material thickness is two millimeter. And then moving along the graph, we've got a 3.2 electrode indicating a amperage of around about 110 amps with four millimeter plate material. And then lastly, 
we've got a four millimeter electrode where we've got 150 amps and the material that we can weld to its capacity is six millimeter. That's all you need to do. I'd like to show you quickly and very briefly how to go into the main welding screen and change the uh, waveforms that you can in the AC mode. So go to your main welding screen, high frequency TIG, select AC, 2T or 4T, go for 2T, then go for no pulse, and that is our main welding screen. If we select advanced menu, we're into another welding screen now for advanced TIG. We've got AC, wave, so by just selecting the waveform, which has been highlighted onto on, we can press on, then scroll over to where the waveform is, which is square wave. And by pressing square wave, we can scroll through the different variations of the actual wave control. So we've got soft square wave, square wave, We've got triangular and we've got a normal sine wave. Once you're happy and selected that, press to say selected it, scroll right down to the back and you're back into the main welding screen. Also here, while we're here now, we can actually change the balance of the AC. So that means we can either have more cleaning action and less penetration or less cleaning action and more penetration and this is how we do it on this machine so again just scroll around with the icon with the red there get it to flash and you can see the balance there in a, as a percentage and while it's flashing we can rotate the percentage of time uh, that we want to to clean or alter the uh, penetration mode at the same time so once we're happy with what we want, press and it's saved. And then we can move on to the next one, which is the AC frequency. We can change the frequency or not change the frequency if you're happy with it. Introduce you to the machine and all its functions and features. We're gonna put some of these functions and features into some good welding practice. So if you'd like to join me into the workshop, we'll get welded. Thank you. So just before we get welding, just check all your connections, make sure that the torch is connected into the negative pole and the welding return is connected into the positive pole. And without further ado, let's have a look at some welding.